Having an actual gun on a school campus can land a student into some serious trouble. But what about a toy gun, a drawing of a gun, or even eating a pastry in the shape of a gun? A portion of their investigation focused in on this area, where you can see signs of tire tracks of a vehicle slamming into a fence, and just a few feet away, blood scattered on the pavement. The state fire marshal says that this fire that happened at this bar this morning definitely does not appear to be an accident. On Pensacola Beach, things seem, I guess, somewhat normal, if you will, even though it is a little breezy. You I'll step out of the shots. You can kind of see uh, a little bit of what's going on. As you mentioned, uh, this fire did start uh, about an hour ago, and as of a few minutes ago rather flames were still visible inside the house but today has been pretty busy at the airport and one of the areas that received a lot of focus and attention are these flight status boards the water at one time was as high as this point on the mailbox on cold days the homeless can live in a place like this where they'll use tarps they'll use blankets. This whole area is what's been slowing down traffic in Gulf Breeze over the last couple of weeks. So it's almost like a block party out here. We have the roses, we have the champagne on ice, and just take a look at all of the residents who came out. The woman that lives at this apartment didn't know what to think when the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force came bursting through her door. Now check this out. A truck drove into a Cantonment grocery store yesterday. Take a look at these pictures. It's not every day we here on the Gulf Coast can say we had to scrape ice off of our cars. Watch where we step on the pavement because of a thick layer of ice. While 60 year old Roy Middleton still recovers after being shot by Escambia County Sheriff deputies right in his driveway, his family says they're determined to seek justice and this case is already receiving national attention. I can't say what I want because I can only still, I'm still asking why. While still in the hospital, Roy Middleton wonders why Escambia County Sheriff deputies fired several shots at him when he was armed with nothing more than a keychain at his own home. National media outlets are also taking notice. Was shot at 15 times by cops who thought he was a car thief. What? The Escambia County Sheriff's Office stands by its report that claims Middleton was non-compliant, which caused deputies to open fire. Sheriff David Morgan believes the reason the case has attracted national attention has less to do about the shooting and more about race. One of the tragedies I think of this is again is that, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately, had Mr. Middleton been white, we probably wouldn't be having this discussion. We caught CNN cameras at Roy Middleton's home, just as County Commissioner as Jean County Valentino Commission, tried to assure Roy Middleton's mother, commissioners are I'm looking into for. the case. Valentino says this kind of attention doesn't reflect well is, on the area. How do you think this looks? This is not speaking well from Pensacola or Escambia County or the Panhandle. Roy's sister, Rosa Middleton, says the family wants the deputies who shot her brother to be held accountable, and she questions the sheriff's claim they had officer anxiety at the time. What kind of cops do you have that get anxious in a situation? You're supposed to be trained to handle those type of situations. So that's, that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. The family tells me Roy Middleton is undergoing physical therapy and may be released from the hospital later this week. Reporting in Escambia County, Cavante Smalls, Channel 3 News. So how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. 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 James Matthews spends up to 10 hours a day sitting before a grand piano, echoing the sounds of Beethoven. Since he was three years old, James has kept a piano within arm's reach. His music has gotten him through the good times in life and the bad. I ended up sleeping wherever I could to sleep for a good part over a year and a half. After graduating high school, James was homeless. His parents were out of the picture. Luckily, the piano studio at Florida Southern College in Lakeland was open 24 hours. That's how his teacher learned of his situation and stepped in to help. He had found me sleeping in his studio and, and pretty much gave, got me out of that situation. He found me a different school to go to where I had a dorm and a, and a roof over my head. James continued perfecting his craft at UWF. Eventually, he decided to take his talents to the big stage, Carnegie Hall in New York City. He entered the American Prodigy International Piano and Strings Competition, and sure enough, James was selected as an honorable mention winner. It's a dream come true. Like I, in a million years, thought I would never see myself going on that stage. And 
it just it just means the world to me. A solid performance could springboard his music career to the next level. Musicians from all over the world will study his every note, chord, and keystroke. But James has overcome challenges before, and Carnegie Hall will be no different. I really don't know what's gonna happen with it or anything, but I'm just gonna go and show my best and stay focused. In Escambia County, Cavante Smalls, Channel 3 News. The second day in a row, Jones Swamp has been taken over by a brush fire, this time literally right in the backyard of some residents who live nearby. Just how they're going to get this put out, how it started, how long it's going to burn. Tammy McPherson watched from her back porch. Others watched from the streets. I don't live far from here, so in case I have to evacuate, I want to know firsthand. The 80 acre fire started early Saturday morning. The dry conditions and winds are believed to have played a role in its flare up. At one point, there were several fires going on at once. All hands were on deck with dozens of bulldozers and fire trucks on the ground. And in the air, helicopters dropped 300 gallons of water to prevent the fire from spreading. Hopefully it won't jump over over the road. If it does, then I guess we'll start getting worried. Then we'll have a little bit of warning, I'm sure. This is the last thing residents in the Meadow Garden subdivision wanted to see. Thick smoke towering above their homes. There's the people back there on their roof soaking their, soaking their roofs and everything. I don't know how close exactly it is they're saying, but it looks like it's right behind the last cul-de-sac. Some residents tried to do what they can to save their home, like watering their yards, but they say they're also prepared to evacuate if needed. We do have like fire safety deposit boxes. We just grab our important stuff and go. Under these hot and dry conditions, the Forestry Service is encouraging everyone to not burn anything outdoors. Reporting in Escambia County, Cavante Smalls, Channel 3 News.